guys, welcome to Burner Brother Antiques. Today we're starting right here at the auction gallery. Uh, let's get at it. What, what you got going on today, Jimmy? I don't know, I was about to get some jewelry out of the truck and you already got it in. The jewelry's already gone, <laughs> see ya. Ah, you took too long to get it through the door. We got it picked up already. Look at all that jewelry though. I gotta get through this pile next. I'm gonna start working through some of that. Check in on everybody. So we got Audrey and Macy, Lucas all back here wrapping and packing. Lucas, what's the plan this week, bud? You got the floor. What's happening at the auction area? Uh, get stuff done. <laughs> get stuff done? That's about it, yeah. That's about it. Macy, you okay? <laughs> yeah, you look like you just stuck yourself Stab here. my finger. You stabbed your finger. <laughs> so what Macy is doing is she is emptying all of this jewelry into this bag. And so when we sell these jars, we don't ship the big jars because we can't get them in flat rate boxes. So we have to repackage all of the jewelry into the jars. This is what they look like after they get them packed into the boxes. So they go jars to bag to boxes and the flat rate. And here's what they have left to get packed from the bulk jewelry auction that we did. Memo, what is our word of the day? Caught you off guard. Uh, the word of the day is going to be faith. faith. No matter what happens in your lifetime, you have faith and God will work it through. All right. I like that word. Everybody's been asking for two weeks. Where's Joe? Where's Joe? Where's Joe? Joe, where are you? I'm back. <laughs> How was vacation? It was fun. Yeah? It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was good to take a couple weeks off, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to get back at it, though. Awesome. Usually when after I do a vacation, when I get back, I'm like really ready to go. Yeah, I'm definitely ready to go. Get back in the group of things. Good deal. All right. <laughs> So this morning already, I just bought a nice group of uh, jewelry and art glass. I'm gonna show you some of this art glass I bought though. It's kind of cool from uh, one of my friends that sells to me all the time. Let's have a look. This is fun. This is a Lundberg piece here. Eichholt. Eichholt. Interesting cloisonne bell, and it's, it's the kind you can see through, the transparent. And then this is a piece of Tiffany, uh, LCT Tiffany for real. And then this piece of Tiffany right here is pretty cool piece. I like how it's all cut. Uh, I think that's a pretty special piece. And uh, yeah, it just came in the door this morning. Uh, along with all of that is this big time uh, Brush McCoy frog. It's the big size. Uh, and that, that was all just bought this morning on the first pickup of the day. Guys, I'm back up front at the heart. I just walked in here and there are a couple baskets here that are sold. Let's check these out. Wow, so these baskets are from Maine. Uh, absolutely cool gathering baskets. I'm using for fishing or hunting or anything like that or just gathering up stuff, but they're really cool from, uh, from Maine. Uh, and they just sold for $195 a piece. Uh, first item right here going out. Stoneware Croc just sold for $39.99. Interesting copper inlay box for $89. Uh, lift top on it. It's all copper embossed all the way around the edge. Uh, got some age on it. Just interesting item. Sold $89.99. This is cool. $58 aluminum uh, airplane just going out the door. Pretty cool piece. Uh, just sold for $58. It out. A whole bunch of aluminum wear just getting brought up front right mm -hmm. now. This group here is priced out for 55, 35, I mean, $35. And then a bunch of, is that Metlocks underneath? Yes, beautiful. Beautiful, that is awesome. Uh, $29.99 a piece on these guys. That's pretty special. A whole group of it going out. There's more pieces in there. Uh, appreciate it. Of course. I'm sitting here, Jimmy and Shannon. Jimmy was just telling me, you got how many coats? The 60. Is it about 60? 60, yeah. 60 Are you sure? leather and suede coats. Oh. Okay. Leather, uh, and, suede. leather and suede. Leather and suede. Two different kinds. Leather yeah. and suede. 60 of them total. And how much did you get for them? 20 bucks. 20 bucks for all 60. <laughs> That's yeah. a good buy. Yeah, it is. Man, we're going to start following Shannon around. She's getting all the good buys. And then how much was the quilt? Four. Four dollars? Yeah. Where'd you buy that for four dollars? Urbana. <laughs> Yard sale? Uh -huh. Oh, yard sale. Yard sale. Yard sale. Oh, man. Yeah. I thought she was thrifty. See, Jimmy, she's passing you up. I, I think know. She's, she's, <laughs> she's starting to do better than you. Well, she doesn't take me anymore. Uh huh. I, I don't coat. blame her. I found the coats and then I had to call back and say, and hold then them. She sent me to the coats. Jimmy will come get them. Nice. I like that. It's even better. So you go buy it, make Jimmy pick it up. Yeah. That's kind of what we do. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Walk outside and check out the parking lot again. Uh, we got quite a few cars here. Uh, this is Monday. It's around noon. And uh, yeah, the place is starting to really happen. So that's good. Let's go inside and check out some stuff. So we've got more stuff coming through the door right now. We've got dealers that have been restocking. We have to get out and check some cases out here from the restocks. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so just a, it's, it's kind of a busy Monday morning. I like that. We got some folks all the way down through there. Let's see who we got down that way. That's just down, shot down one of the main buildings here. And quite a few customers in that one. 
A couple sold items here. Yellowware bowl for $35. I like the bands on that. That's pretty cool. Uh, sold, 35 bucks. Here is a $1 bill, 1923 sold for $37.95. Uh, pretty interesting silver silver certificate. It's sold. There's a little Linux piece that just sold for $8. And then I noticed there's two of these airplanes in different bins. The same airplane though, $12 on this guy right here, a little miniature clock airplane. And another one for 12 as well. Here's some interesting advertising items. So we got a $25 thermometer here. A $19 calendar from 1944. That's in really great shape on that one. And then here is a $35 one. Uh, pretty interesting as well. But with the windmill scene on it right here. All sold. The big blue vase in the back, $29.99. It is sold. And then the blue vase in the front. Let's see. The price on that one is $40. Uh, both are in the sold. And that one's got a nice stopper that goes on it. A little decanter. Both sold. Oh, here's a nice harbor scene engraving, pencil signed. It's dated 1981, uh, sold for 75. Lucas and I are back here and uh, we're getting ready to start a whatnot show. This is gonna be a pop-up show. I'm gonna sell some jewelry. Um, you guys know I get a lot of jewelry, so we're just gonna work through some of this jewelry and sell some of this on a whatnot pop-up show. I don't know how many pieces we'll sell. We'll kind of mess around with it until we decide we're done. Um, and then tonight is our big show at, uh, what is it, eight o'clock? tonight mm -hmm. right there. eight o'clock tonight um this right here is what we're going to be selling uh currently that we what we have over here we've got more to add more to add for but sure. all the micro mosaics the tiffany pieces the coralline the pottery uh the stife bear the van briegel all these items are going to sell tonight on our whatnot show so uh yeah there again if you're not following us on whatnot make sure you check it out we do a lot of shows a lot of stuff selling about about uh we're going to try and hit a thousand lots this week on whatnot i don't know if we'll make it or not but it's that's our goal it's a lot of stuff I just got through a whatnot sale, so I want to go up front here again and uh, just kind of check in with the heart and see what's happening up front. Uh, here's a great period Queen Anne chair, just brought up. It is sold, uh, and love the lines on this. This thing's 18th century. Look at the feet, uh, absolutely awesome patina. It looks like it's Elmwood probably um, down there. And look how it's pinned together. The pin's actually starting to back out a little bit uh, where it's pinned together. That's all handmade. Looks like a hickory seat on the front. Um, pretty cool piece. Absolutely awesome. Here's a Victorian. Now, we, this is the one that we picked up out of a house. This is a Victorian uh, East Lake Etage painted black. Uh, this came out of a house in, I don't remember where we're at, Springfield. And we had sold it to uh, Scott, our dealer here. And then he cleaned it up and, and uh, got, got it looking really good. And he just sold it. That's cool. So these two head vases are up here in the sold bin. There's an offer pending. We'll see if they go out, but they're priced at $59 and $55 uh, up here in the sold bins. Here's the other one. Oh, this is fun. This is a uh, Weller, um, what was it, Welsa? Hold on here. Let's see what this is. Lassa, I think is what this is. Leah Lassa Weller, priced out for $995 in the sold bins. Great, great finish on this thing. This is an awesome piece of pottery. Um, I've had several pieces of Lhasa through the years. Uh, just incredible. The decorations, the color, it looks like glass and it's actually made by pot it's pottery made by Weller. Uh, it's up here in the sold bins right beside it, a bittersweet. Those just came in yesterday, that bittersweet did. I have it on our filmer two days ago. Ellie Smith, priced at 185. Then here's a $139 uh, red footed vase right here. That's pretty cool. All up here in the sold bins. And then check it out. Here's another one priced out for $79 um, all up here in the salt bin well as this guy right here was too tall to fit in the bin above it and this one is priced at 150 uh, pretty cool colors on that one 150 here is a really cool piece of Majelica as well $45 on this one uh, nice piece English probably and that is sold Jacob getting a cart. He just loaded somebody out. I'm not sure what's happening here. Mo's up here. Uh, we got, what we got? Andy telling the joke of the day. What we got yep, today, yep. Andy? Uh, on, the on the spot. On the spot. Huh? He's always got a good dad joke in there. He does. He's the king right here. Let's have one. How much do you have to tickle an octopus before he laughs? I don't know. Ten tickles. <laughs> Ten tickles. Ten tickles. There you go. I told you he had the joke of the day right there. You can always count on him. That's awesome. Oh, this just sold. I featured this last week. I, mean, I showed it in one of the videos, and it is going out the door, and I don't have a price on it because it's already been paid for. They're waiting to pick it up. 
but that's cool. It's sold. Those shoes for $95 sold. That's an interesting Eagle uh, gas can priced at $25.85. That's got great condition on that. You know, it's interesting. You can't, you can't really buy the, these little things like this anymore around here. Everything made in China or Taiwan, right? Dealer restock at 61.13 just happened, guys. Had a lot of interesting items all through here. Uh, I love that big crackle glass space for 35. That's cool. Just interesting to see all the new items that come in every day here at the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. You just never know what's going to show up any given day. It's been pretty busy out here. We've had a lot of customers today. Uh, a lot of stuff's moving, and this gentleman right here has really stepped it up and put a lot of volume in. So come check it out right here at booth 6113. So Lucas and I are getting ready to do another whatnot sale tonight. This is our premium picks. Yeah. Um, so getting the cart ready to be able to write and put stuff down on. This is our final lineup. So we have all the Van Briegel. The uh, the Monkey Ball is really cool. That's a uh, uh, oh shoot, who is that? That is I forget the name. My golly, I gotta get my glasses on. But what's really interesting is the Tiffany. That's Tiffany. That's Tiffany. Stiff in the back. Vintage Christmas. There's art glass pieces. Micro Mosaic, Lundberg, The Frog, all that's going in today. And then we just unwrapped this from South Florida. This is a really cool uh, perfume bottle. It's all crystal. Then there's a Victorian, um, kind of American Brilliant cut glass stand. I think that Murano is. with great gold leafing on it. And then another Murano. Um, did you show me Tanawa? Tana yeah, I did. Oh. What is this called again? Tan uh, Tanala. Yeah, something like that. Tanala. That's a big Tanala. Sign, yeah. And then I love this fox right here. This pottery fox is awesome. The Coraline. And then isn't this one Tiffany? Yes. Yeah. Tiffany. Tiffany. Tiffany, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Tiffany. Lotes. Probably. Moser, maybe? Moser. No, I thought that one was the Moser. That looks like Moser, too. All the micro mosaics. And then these. Uh, and then these animals are really cool. So Joe, much detail Joe these. picked these up. These are all uh, European. Uh, I don't know if they're Ron or where they're from, but they're, they, they got them out of Europe. Uh, and then we have a really cool mal malachite necklace down here. Some more art glass paperweights. Uh, here's a chicken. Check out the chicken. Art glass chicken. I think the chicken. On iron legs. And then up top, the pigs. Uh, Audrey really liked these two pigs right here. That was pretty cool. Um, and then we have the stone. And then we were in with the Viking dog. That's, That's a Viking? cool Viking dog. Yeah. It's got the wow. original label on it. That's cool. I didn't see pretty that. Pretty neat Viking. piece. Yep. And Audrey, are you going to help tonight? Yep. Audrey, see you're going to help. So we're ready to rock it out. Uh, all right, well, we'll come back after the show and finish out the video. Tell them how it did. The show is over. Uh, how'd we do? Oh, good, I think. Um, everything. We sold everything, so good. We sold everything. Okay, so let's talk about the, the highlights of the show. Let's go look at what was over there. Um, kind of talk about what you thought, the prices and different okay, stuff. Okay, well, obviously, highlight of the show was this oh, guy I right mean, here. that's a crazy piece of Tiffany glass. Like 450 or something? Four right something, 475 in that range. Um, crazy awesome cool piece, piece of, of Tiffany. Glass. We sold about five pieces of Tiffany. Yeah, we sold a lot. We sold some Van Briegel, some iColt. Um, the iColts, what do you think, though? I think the iColt prices have dropped a little bit. Yeah, definitely. They only... Um, from when we first started selling them to now, they've had brought or they've dropped about 30, 20, 30, 20, 30 percent less uh, yeah. on iColts. That's interesting how some of those trends go up and down. But what about Joe's miniature figurines? No, they did good. They did good. They're a lot of those were bringing in 20 and 30 dollars each. Can you show us one? What one looked like? Here, show you guys Audrey's. Audrey, okay, Audrey got one. So this right here is what we're talking about. That's a miniature figurine. They're from Europe. He said he got them uh, from somebody that was from Europe. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, and they were bringing from you most of them were like 20 to 30 dollar range mm -hmm. for the most part um so the micro mosaics were all and that same guy, thing 20 to 40. i think this guy was right at 400 maybe i don't remember i forget was but it, it close was to 400. so cool another tiffany vase was this right vase a little cabinet so cool. vase uh really cool stuff though the van briegel butterfly bowl was at 50 dollar range Around there, yeah. It was around fifty dollars on that one. I was surprised this guy did not bring as much as I the, thought it should. The Coraline, and that's Mount Washington, is that right? Yes. Mount Washington Coraline, Wheat Coraline. Uh, they were online was for like, a lot more. It was like seventy dollars. It was seventy one. Seventy one dollars. So that was a pretty good buy on they that piece. Online for two to three hundred. Two to three hundred online. So on these whatnot shows, we just start everything at a dollar and uh, see where it goes to, and so you never know what something's going to bring. Mm -hmm. Uh, the frog was in the 70 some dollars, I think, yeah. around 75, somewhere in there, uh, on the frog. 
Um, yeah, and so uh, next Monday night, we'll have another hand-picked uh, whatnot show we'll put together. Uh, but for today, I think it was pretty good. Well, how many people did we have? Oh, over 200 for a while. We had over 200 for quite a while. At the start of the show, it got up to over 200. Uh, it was pretty solid all the way till the end. Um, we started losing a little bit when we were down the last few items, and they, mm -hmm. they just weren't interested in some of the lower items, so some of the folks jumped off. But, yeah, pretty good overall. And Audrey helped. Ooh. Audrey, that was your first time here on a premium pick show. What would you think? It was fun. It was fun? Why? I'm not sleeping at home. Not sleeping at home. You try and watch from home, but you keep falling asleep. Yeah, I do. Well, you're not asleep today. It must be boring. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, uh, we appreciate it. And we say good night here from Burner Brother Antiques. We will see you guys tomorrow. Luke, any final words? Good night. Like, subscribe, and follow. Lots of comments. Comment. Follow us, too. Lots of comments, though.